Preseason, everybody. 2023. Let's go. What changes you got for us, right? Only German changes, I guess. I like how they always put the same kind of champions in these videos, man. Slux, Jinx, Lee Sin, all these kind of popular champions, they can't sell skins with it. It's so boring, man, to see always the same. There's no time for small talk. Let's dive into preseason 2023. Let's go, man. There's no containing this volatile reaction. Chemtech Drake is back with some major hey. changes coming off of last year. Each Chem Drake kill grants tenacity, healing, and shields. What? Each Chem Drake grants tenacity, healing, and shields. Wait, this is still broken, no? They took off the Chem Tech because it was too broken. Each Chem Tech Drake gave you tenacity, healing, and shield. This is this is still strong as fuck, man. Claiming Chem Soul grants bonus damage and damage reduction when low on health. Holy! When Chem Drake takes over the map, chemicals will mutate the jungle plants to give them new abilities and effects. Honeyfruit is enhanced to give a small shield without slowing. Stalker's Bloom gives move speed and... Yo, is, is it only me or do I find Camtech still being too strong? Reduces revealed wards to 1 HP. Maybe it's only me, man. Let me let me your comments in the uh, your thoughts in the comments, guys. And Blast Cone gets blastier. Yeah, Blast Cone's gonna but send you a till Afghanistan. Plant life isn't all that's coming next season. A foray into the forest is more fun with friends. Yeah, we get some Pokemons. Let's go. Additional jungle items have been replaced with new companions that evolve as the game ticks on and grant unique buffs in their final form. Also, before we dive deep, deeper into this, uh, let me know your, your your thoughts about the Pokemons that we are getting in the jungle, guys, for all the junglers out there. Do you like them or do you think this is too much? First question. Second question goes to all the viewers. Do you think Camp Tank is still too broken? Because in my opinion, it's, it's still giving too much. You can progress their evolution by giving them treats, which are acquired slowly over time and more quickly by killing monsters. But you'll find more than just animal allies along these trails. Recommended jungle pathing will now show on your minimap for your first clear. Yeah, there's no more skill in the jungle. There's no more skill expression in, in the jungle, guys. There's no more skill expression. What's going on over here? Man? What is season 14 about then? You don't have to last it anymore to get gold, kill minions or what? They're taking out so much skill out of this, man. I get the point. They want to make it noob friendly, but this is too much. That's my opinion. What is your opinion, guys? Leave me down your opinion in the comments. Perfect for first time junglers looking to learn the ropes. Pathing will vary with your champ pick and adapt based on player data. Yo, we have so many guides on the internet, man. Like, come on. If you want to know the path, the pathing path or whatever, the, the item build, you can just look it up in the internet, man. Repatch. With all these new friend-focused updates, you may now refer to us as League of Friendship. And no... Also, you know, back then when they implemented the, the timers on the camps, I was also saying this is too much, man. This is simply too much because it's a kind of skill to know when the camp is going to respawn. It's skill expression to be there and to, to clear this camp. Now we have these timers. Everyone can just do it because they have the timer to just press tap and they will look it up and they will know, okay, the camp is about to respawn. I got to be there. But back then, it used to be skill, man. It used to be skill. And now they are implementing another thing in this. This is not up for debate. We're bringing some big improvements to the number of Let's ways go. you can new communication with your team tools. to sync the enemy. We've expanded the ping wheel to include new options like hold, push, bait, and all in. I'm going to be honest right here. I, I think I will be, uh, yeah, I, I will get confused because it's too much again. Simplicity is the key to everything. And I think with this big ass wheel uh, you have there, where you can choose between all the pings you can do, it's too much, man. You will like, you will be like bringing this up, and you will be like, okay, where do I ping now? Where is the ping that I'm looking for? Is it this one, this one, or this one? It's too much, in my opinion, though. What is your opinion? Hey, down in the comments, man. Today we're gonna discuss a lot, guys. While the vision wheel now has vision cleared and need vision. Now we have vision Better wheel. Better still, we've added off-screen ping indicators to help. So instead of like having voice comp where you can just uh, speak to your people, to your team and say, hey, there is a ward or not, or clear this ward, hey, hey, buy a ward. Instead of like doing this, we have these wheels and it's too much in my opinion. Help with map awareness. It's going to control. confuse us. 
We're also introducing an objective voting system that'll ease conflict when it comes to making big plays. I like that. On the rift. Now your top. That's where you go. Baron, it's a thing of the past. We hope. Start saving items. your pennies for new and reborn items coming to a shop near you. New mythic items fit for top laners and tanks are stocking the shelves. But all that really matters is Rod of Ages is back. Let's go. That's it. That's the update. Rod of Ages is back. Mid laners rejoice. What? All right, all right, fine. I'll actually do my job. We'll give you the rest of it. <laughs> I was about Three to say, man. Only one item. Tank boosting items are joining the mythic ranks. Returning and updated items include Rod of Ages and Spear of Shojin. And as usual, several other items have been updated, so you should definitely check out the patch notes to get the full details. Is that an infomercial? Hit the rift running in season 2023 and get to know the preseason changes coming in patch 12.22. Hope they buff tier the cause. <laughs> I like this one, man. They are doing the same thing. This is just like a reference to Pokemon, no? We have the professor and the at the background, and um, you have these three kind of Pokemons right there. And Amumu choosing one of them. Actually getting his friend, his first friend, I would say. Well done, man. Well done. Hey, guys. Um, subscribe for some more League of Lego uh, content. I do create a League of Legends content. Um, you can check out my, my channel. Subscribe to that channel. I would appreciate that. You will make me super happy with that. Hit the sub button and the enable button. Like this video and comment below. Tell me your opinion about all the questions that I have asked. Let us discuss it in the comments. With that being said, peace. Thank you.